This is my missionary story. I am Sister Vivian Fernando from Sri Lanka and I belong to the Holy Family Sisters of Bodo. I joined it in 1976 and came to the Philippines in 1989. I have already lived nearly half of my life as a missionary in the Philippines. I had the joy of living and sharing our charism of communion, of being and building family. As a member congregation in the Association of Major Religious Superiors in the Philippines, we decided to support its initiatives. We tried to collaborate with other congregations in order to respond to the urgent needs of our time. This led me to join in the JPIC Commission and respond to the special invitation to work with the inter-congregation at team on anti-trafficking of human persons. This paved the way for a new direction, new learning and a new ministry. From the beginning of my religious life, I had the desire to commit myself to the marginalized and the exploited. My heart goes towards the suffering women. In Sri Lanka, I spent many years working with the young workers in the free trade zone. Our general chapters also invited us to leave the comfort zones, go to the periphery and serve the vulnerable of our society. The dignity of all beings is of uttermost importance for us as members of the whole family of Bodo. This is what encouraged me to commit myself to Talitakum coordinating team. Talitakum Philippines is privileged to be part of the global anti-trafficking network of the Union of International Superiors which began in the early 2009. Talitakum Philippines continues to struggle as a network with our member congregations and lay partners working to end human trafficking. I have been in this team since 2013 experiencing the joy of sharing our charisms and complementarity in working together for a common goal. We have been responding to urgent needs and implementing programs of prevention, protection and prayer. We conduct capacity building and trainers training and prevention programs in schools and in local barangays. We also network with other like-minded groups. During this pandemic, when the whole world is in chaos, all our planned activities came to a halt. However, this does not prevent us from being concerned about our women and children. Our mothers and sisters continue to be violated and abused. We hear their cry. We feel their suffering in this globalized world and especially in the Philippines. We continue the work of conscientization using media. We are called to continue together our commitment against human trafficking and to weave 
networks of love. As a coordinating team, we maximize our efforts to reach out to the voiceless and we do this while protecting ourselves and giving protection to the victims. At the last General Assembly of Talitakum in 2019, Pope Francis said to the delegates, never end the day without thinking about the gaze of one of the victims you have known. This will be a beautiful prayer. As coordinating team, we are called and gifted in order to give ourselves for the service of the victims of human trafficking. I pray that each of us and all of us together may become a blessing of freedom and hope for the people whom we love and serve for our communities, for the networks, Talitakum, and for the wounded humanity and the whole universe. I am privileged and gifted to give myself past eight years in this service and I am very thankful to a AMRSP giving me this opportunity and inviting me to convince to give myself as a congregation. So, maraming maraming salamat.